This is Jennifer Funk in her native environment, studying California plants. The Chapman University researcher wants to know which species in this field of flowers and coastal sagebrush can adapt to long-term drought conditions. Is that enough leaf material on this individual leaf? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. It is forecast that Southern California will get less and less rainfall over the next century. Funk hopes her research will pinpoint which characteristics in plants help some survive a drought while others perish. So today we're here measuring photosynthetic rates. So it's a really good indicator of sort of the health or the, the functioning of the plant. And then in a couple of weeks we'll come back out and we're going to dig uh, what are called soil cores, where we actually dig a, a long tube of soil and we actually capture some of the plant roots in that. And from that, we can look at things like root morphology and branching structure and some other characteristics about the roots. The results could improve future environmental restoration efforts. Instead of replanting native species that may have been in an area 50 years ago, the study could identify different native plants that are better adapted to the drier environment. Funk's thirst for knowledge about what makes a plant drought tolerant could have an impact around the world. Well, Southern California um, has a Mediterranean type climate and there, we're actually only one of five Mediterranean regions across the globe. So it's quite possible that, this, that the stuff that we're learning here can be applied to different systems in South America, um, like in Chile or um, Western Australia or even the Mediterranean basin. Funk says there will be winners and losers we will lose some species that can't adjust to drought, while other plants will thrive. Those changes will also create a domino effect on the native wildlife. So plants are really the base of the entire ecosystem, right? So they provide all of the energy through photosynthesis. They are what provide the foundation for all of the animals that, that live in that system. The, the type of vegetation community that you have 50 or 100 years from now is really going to impact the animal community as well. Did you find anything out about F4? How many species there are in here? So while this self-proclaimed plant nerd looks at these leaves and roots, she's really looking ahead to try and solve this growing problem.